Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast uh, video. So here we have the Eurofighter, the EF2000, um, obviously by JC Wings in 172nd scale diecast. So this is a multi-role, multinational Delta Wing fighter, jointly made in collaboration between Britain, Germany, France, Italy and Spain. With um, France later uh, withdrawing to uh, make their own fighter, uh, the Dassault Raphael. Um, but the remaining four countries um, that did stick together um, have introduced this fighter into their nation's air forces with the first entering service in 2003 and are still in active service today. Um, so they have been ordered by a number of other countries as well. And um, so with a total of 571 being built so far um, in multiple force, air forces around the globe. So what we'll do is we'll have a... We'll have a real good look at this bad boy and get it out of the packet. So this is obviously um, one from the tactical uh, fighter wing 31 of the Luf modern day Luftwaffe. Um, I think uh, bulky. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, actually, I'll have to bring that up so you can get this open. So this particular unit was actually named after um, a World War I uh, 40 Victory Fighter Ace Oswald Bulky. So we'll get this open. Um, that is successful. And so it does it does come with the front canards that have to go onto the front of the aircraft there that need to be affixed. And a little packet with the uh, landing um, the gear doors. It does have the landing gear in the packet there. It does come with a little collector's card as well. So these are a numbered. There are only 600 of these available. So uh, get these babies while you can. And it does have a little set of instructions as well. Um, no, and when I said little set, I do mean little. These are just tiny. <laughs> so it just gives you straightforward instructions of how to uh, put the landing gear on and I will get this bad boy out of here and have a little real good look at it if we can manage that effort so as you can see it is a very very tidy tidy looking uh, die cast model that's for sure this is nice canopy the canopy does open and close um, the uh, uh, the tail, the rudder does move a little. It does have a little bit of manipulation left or right. Geez, the the artwork on this is fantastic. It actually has all the the flags of the nations that are sort of ordered or involved with that. Um, I I think this is a very nice, very nice, accurate sort of uh, rendition. Of, I've got to say that 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 paintwork is beautiful. <laughs> We'll just flip her over and have a little look underneath. Obviously, it does require some assembly. So you've got the points here for the ordnance. Um, it does come with the little packet here that is in, in the flap. So it does have a little pilot figure and um, some ordnance to put uh, underneath the aircraft. And obviously, the, the front landing gear goes there. Rear landing gear goes there. And you put the uh, little front canards in, into the front section here. And then should be complete. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll quickly whack some landing gear and those little pieces on, and we'll have a look at it in its uh, complete form. So the front canards come into a little packet like that, and you must you do need to uh, snap these little bits off to be able to uh, um, chuck that into the aircraft. So what you've got to do once they've taken those little pieces off, I I'd recommend trimming a little bit because the, these stubs are quite thick compared to the holes on the aircraft. And I know when I was trying to put mine on, um, there was a little bit of uh, resistance. But if you trim them a little bit, they then start to slip in a little bit easier like so. And you just push that into place. Just grab that other one and whack that in. Because these are only plastic themselves, so... And push that into place like so and that's with the front canards on 
Um, the landing gear, or just uh, that's a fairly straightforward operation, sort of as well. Um, they were a bit of a bugger to get out of the actual packet themselves. I did break one trying to get it out because it's quite stuck in there. But um, to affix them into position, it'll be quite straightforward. I'll chuck this on fast forward so I don't bore you through that. Um, I did break one of the landing gears while doing this, but uh, it's a pretty easy process. So. But that would be the landing gear. <laughs> we'll just plonk it down. But um, it also has this air brake here, but it's a real bugger for me to get it open, so I won't... Um, I won't pull pull that open. I, I struggle to get it open. Sausage fingers. Um, um, maybe. Oh, I've got sausage fingers, so uh, maybe with a bit, bit better fingers than mine, it will be a bit easier for you guys to get it open. But I think overall, um, aside from the little pain in the ass of getting a couple of those things out of the packet and the fragility of it, I think the rendition itself is you know, it's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's very nice. Um, it owes me... About 145, and that was including the delivery. It's got the little novelty of a moving rudder on the tail. Um, and I, I think overall underneath it's quite detailed. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's not, not a bad little unit. But um, it does not uh, come with a stand. So um, you'd have to buy that uh, extra, I think. But uh, what I'll do is I'll... Um, you know the deal i'll take uh, some photos of this without my sausage fingers in the way i'll chuck the ordnance on and um i'll get some uh, good good pictures up there for you to have a real good look at this bad boy so yeah so this was the Eurofighter ef2000 by jc wings from the tactical fighter wing 31 bulky of the uh, german luftwaffe um and it's one in second scale die cast and I, I think it's not not a bad looking looking unit um but um i'll leave it up to yourselves all right, guys, uh, you know the deal. Um, if you can you know, spare those couple of seconds, give us a like. That'd be awesome. And even subscribe to the channel. All right, well, thank you very much for sticking with us and uh, watching the video. And you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.